Hello, everybody, and welcome to a new episode of The Book Report presented by The Millions. My name is Janet. And my name is Mike. And this week, Mike and I read a book called The Regional Office is Under Attack. It is about a secret office of highly trained female assassins uh, who come under attack from one of their own who defected. It's run by a man, named, a man named Mr. Niles and a woman named Ayemi. And she's kind of a psychic. <laughs> and she and her like band of psychics know where to find these like powerful assassin women who also maybe have mystical properties. Like there's a lot going on. So much. Um, so then there's a, a group of female assassins and then... There's an alternate band of female assassins who come in, <laughs> who come and attack them. So assassins everywhere. It's the most martial arts I've ever read about. You suggested this book, Mike. Why did you do that? Well, I thought you would enjoy it precisely because you are a highly trained female assassin. Um, oh, shoot. Damn it. I did that part Just out. Just see somebody parachute in and take me <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are we broadcasting live? How did you know that? I just had so much fun reading it. It, to me, was like um, watching, and, and actually I'm not an action movie fan, but to me it was like what I imagine people who like action movies feel when they see a really good action movie. Um, and that is, it's just like a lot of fun, uh, but it's also written really well, and you care, at least I cared about some of the characters. Like it, uh, you know, I, you started to kind of feel for these people, even though they're sort of ruthless, uh, bloodthirsty killers like mm -hmm. yourself. I mean, I like the, the fact that a lot of the book is about like the office politics of an assassin office. <laughs> like, yeah. You know, like the boss has favorites and there's kind of like rivalries. It's very cool because, yeah, like the, the fighting is fun. But then it also just seems like, uh, not in a bad way, like a very normal novel about people who just happen yeah. to be, like, judoing each other's faces off. Yeah. Um, and also, about halfway through the book, I, I realized that I didn't know who I was rooting for. Because, like, that, yeah. everybody's kind of bad and kind of good. I also, you know, when I started, you know, a book about female assassins written by a man, I feel it could go so wrong. Like, mm -hmm. there, I think there are a lot of ways that could, that could maybe go wrong. But to me, and granted, I'm a guy, so, you know, what do I know? But it, it rang true. Like, <laughs> I don't think he was, like, patronizing at all or whatever. I mean, there was a small issue that basically every female character was in love with the same man. <laughs> Okay, that is true. That's like, true, actually. Like a good 20 women. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, I've had that problem before, though. <laughs> like, every woman I meet is just like, hey, book critic, you. It had, a, it had a whiff of the Blomquist about it, where you're just like, <laughs> oh, so they're all just inexplicably attracted to this guy that you haven't bothered to make that charming or interesting. <laughs> that, okay, that is absolutely true. If I did you not say so. That. <laughs> so there's that. But there, I mean, I, it's maybe hinted at that he also has, like, a mystical power about him. But... <laughs> that is totally fair. It's, pr um, it's necessary for the plot, so whatever. Um, yeah, yeah. It's, you know, it's definitely a plot-driven novel. Um, but I... I, I and I don't want to, like, overstate it, but I, I feel like the characters are pretty... I feel like maybe a little more developed than they have to be. The main ones. Like, there's so much punching, and like you said earlier, so many martial arts, and normally I feel like that would bore the crap out of me. Because I'm not, I'm not into martial arts or fighting or action movies and guns and stuff, but uh, he just kind of had me with it. Yeah, I got, yeah. I got hooked. Like, I started reading it in really large chunks. I could see Kelly Link loving this book, you know? But, um... So it's gradually gotten very dark in your house while we've been talking. Yes, it has. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Maybe we should wrap it up before you become completely invisible. One second. Yeah. Great book. All right. Fun stuff. Yeah, I recommend it. Thumbs up. Female assassins. Janet, as a female assassin, gives it her imprimatur. So, what's keeping you from reading it? Uh, well, thanks very much for watching this episode of The Book Report. Make sure to go get The Regional Offices Under Attack by... Question mark. <laughs> under Attack? <laughs> <laughs> by Manuel Gonzalez? We'll see you next time. You'll never walk alone, Mike. You'll never walk alone, Janet.